what's up youtube welcome back to another video my name is kanzi beat and i'm back today guys with another special awesome and amazing video for you guys so yeah guys on today's video i'm going to show you guys a simple trick for making fire and awesome afrobeat melodies trust me you haven't seen this before i'm going to be using fl studio 20 for this and if you haven't followed me already make sure to go follow me on instagram at kanzi beat i will have you so much of your time let's just get to today's video hey hey you can't see spice that shit up So guys, this is what the melody sounds like alone. So yeah, I know it kind of no. sounds a little bit more different from your average Afrobeat melodies, but that's what, you know, that's what it is, bro. You know, this is 2022, and we're trying to make something different. To start off the melody, this is what we have. The first thing we have is this reverse uh, melody pattern right here. So yeah guys this is where the whole magic basically lies you know you know basically reversing your whole melody and i know this is something that is basically not done or not common in you know the afrobeats industry to make that reverse melody all i used was purity i used this piano sound called first impression impurity so uh, what i just did was just you know lay down this simple chord progression like this This is just, you know, basically a simple, you know, uh, triad chord, just, you know, C, D sharp, and G, and then I just brought down, uh, you know, the top note, which was, uh, which was G, and then I brought it down an octave, just like that, and I basically just, you know, repeated the first note, like this, and over here, instead of making this, the bottom note, a G, I actually took it up to a G sharp, and you know basically it's just a simple chord progression and that's where you need to you know really spice things up after i got this let's basically drag this into the playlist and once you have this in the playlist what i did was just you know uh, to render it out as an audio i just click this and then uh, click render as audio clip once you're done rendering the sound i just clicked on it and then i clicked on normalize because it was kind of like too low and then i brought down the volume like a bit and then once i did that i just you know clicked on it and then reverse the sound so guys the whole technique behind reversing a melody loop is actually going to reverse the whole chord progression so this is the chord progression we actually rendered out and after i clicked on reverse it, this is what basically happened i'm going to hold alt y to basically flip the whole uh chord progression and you know basically reverse it so this is what we have down there and i actually don't want the last chord progression to actually come first i actually want this to still be my first chord progression so in order to actually achieve that i'm going to show you guys what to do i'm just going to bring this back to normal so yeah guys this is how you go about it so all you need to do is get this slicer tool and then you're just going to slice on every bar as you can see right here this is where the first chord end and then this is where the second chords begin so i'm just going to slice it there slice here like this and then i'm going to slice here and what you need to do to slice precisely is hold shift and then click you know to get a precise slice so what i'm going to do next is try to like restructure the whole chord progression so as you can see right here this is actually my first chord progression and then this is the last two chord progression so what i need to do to make it uh, uh to actually rearrange everything is drag this right here drag this uh, basically drag this like this and drag this so the basic thing i did is just to take the slicer tool and as you can see i chopped it here here and here in the in the loop and then what i just uh the last thing i did is just to take this uh back like this but then the whole sound is still in reverse but my chord progression is not in reverse i hope you guys you know really you know understand uh what i just said so basically that's the easiest way i can you know explain the whole thing for you guys so that's basically the whole goal behind this whole reversing thing 
and for the effect i basically started off by adding a fruity parameter eq fruity reverb 2 for fruity reverb 2 i left the default preset and then i brought the wet down and then the last thing i did is just add uh, rc20 and for rc20 i just left the vinyl one preset moving on here is what we have next And for that sound I used purity and the preset I use is the bamboo 2 preset uh, found in the bell and perks uh, category. So yeah guys, as you guys can see this is basically the same chord as the first uh, melody and uh, to reverse it I did the same thing I did, the, first the same technique I did for the first sound is the same thing I did, I just followed the same step. And for the effect I started off by adding the fruity parameter EQ2, I cut out the lows and then I added RC20 and for RC20 I used the pad magic preset and the last thing I did is just add this plugin called fresh air just to add some mid frequencies and some high frequencies this is a really good plugin i highly recommend this plugin for you guys so yeah guys the next thing i added is this one shot bass called ruthless and then this is what we have Just following the root notes of the melody which is c and g sharp and as you can see i basically didn't add any effects to the bass because it was quite fine and then moving on i added this one shot bass called uh the grand bass i use this bass a lot but then for this i wanted this bass to be kind of like a bit different because i wanted to add two bass sounds and then for this i wanted this to be like a swelling bass so in order to achieve that there are different ways to achieve that but i actually just basically clicked on this reverse uh, button right here and then i basically uh came to this envelope section what i basically did is just to bring the delay down increase the hold brought the uh, decay sustain and the release all down you know just to be able to have more control of the sound and then basically this is what we have For the effect guys same thing as the uh, as the first bass i actually didn't add any effect and it's basically still doing the same thing which is following the results of my chord progression which is c and g sharp so guys uh this is where the whole groove of the melody comes in i actually added contact and i got this evolution hollow body blues bank in contact and then i got this uh, preset called evening blues and then i got that i think in the clean section uh i think this is it right here the evening blues so yeah guys this is what the whole guitar melody sounds like Sorry, I didn't actually tell you guys what key I was actually working on. I'm actually working on uh, a C minor natural alien scale. And as you can see, how I basically achieved this is just to do a rundown of notes, which is uh, a C, A sharp, G, F, G, F, D sharp, and D. And as you can see, these are all notes that are all in the scale. And you basically, you can't basically go wrong with this, guys. If you have good ears, you can't basically, you know, go wrong, you know, making this. And then for the effect, guys, I started off by adding fruity parameter EQ2. I had to cut out the lows. RC20. And for RC20, I used the Lush and Crunch Guitar 2 presets. And then I actually brought down the space because it was like too much. And then the last thing I did is just add fruity delay 3 uh, with the ping pong preset. Uh, I brought the wet down to 14%, and I increased the tone to like 23%. And then I as you guys can see I actually pan this guitar to the left like 30 percent to the left so guys moving on to the next guitar sound i use the classic blue presets found in the clean uh, right here classic blues and then which is found in the same bank as the first which is the evolution hollow body blue bank in contact and then this is what it sounds like <laughs> And then for the effect guys i basically just took the effect from the first guitar sound and then just you know put it in the second so what i did is just right click on this go to file 
and then just drag this and you know basically place it there and then the next sound we have right here is this uh synth one shot sound called avenue and then this is what we have The effects for this sound, I basically added fruity parameter EQ2. I cut out the lows, added, uh, fruity reverb 2, and then for the fruity reverb 2, I used the venue presets, fruity delay 3 next, um, and I used the ping pong preset and I added Valhalla super massive, just the cross slab preset, and then I brought the mix level down to like 30%. And then the last thing I did is just add shaper box, and then for shaper box, I added this filter effect. So, how I actually made this is actually just selecting either one of these, and then I clicked on this 2x button, like four five times you know to basically uh, make it this way and then i brought the mix level down to like 50 percent and then the last thing i did for the melody is just add this vox loop and then for the fed guys i added uh parameter eq2 and then i just uh right click on this and then click on this uh this preset right here and then i just you know basically cut out the lows and cut out the highs just like that you know just to give it a little bit more filter effect and then basically i added ambience this is a reverb plugin i haven't used it in a while pretty delay 3 with the ping pong preset and then i brought the wet to 26 percent and the last thing i did is just add wider this is a stereo separation plugin you know just to widen the sound on both sides of your headphones so yeah i've actually forgot to mention for my both guitars uh like i said i've panned the first guitar sound to the left and i actually panned this other to the right so i actually did that just to make everything sound more spacey i actually did that to widen the whole sound to sum everything up the final thing i did is just add some you know drum loops So guys that's going to be nice. all for today guys i hope you guys really had fun watching this video i hope you guys learned a thing or two from watching this video and i hope you guys are really going to start you know making uh fire melodies and i hope you guys are really going to start looking for new ways and new techniques you know to take your whole uh game to the next level so guys if you want to support me you can support me by getting my afro beats afro roots one shot pack that is out uh i'm going to leave the link down in the description below and you can go follow me on instagram at kanzi beats and then you can like this video in order to get this video out to everybody out there that are actually looking for help making afro be melodies and you know basically subscribe you know and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any content that i'll be dropping out for you guys uh thank you guys for the support that i've been getting lately i love you guys and i'm really appreciative for everything make sure to you know basically anticipate my one shot pack that is going to be out it's going to be fire like i said in my last video if you haven't watched that make sure to go watch that i'm going to leave that also in the link below and yeah so guys um that's going to be all for today guys i love you guys catch you guys in the next video i'm out of here peace